Round 7 of the 2011 season saw the birth of the Q-Clash, with the Brisbane Lions facing off against the new kids on the block, the Gold Coast Suns. It would be a former Lion in Jared Brennan who would come back to haunt his former club as the Suns took a five-goal lead into the halftime break. At the back, Tracker! Oh! Oh! Yes! yes, indeed, he's got another one! On the back of a six-goal haul from Ash McGrath, the home side stormed back into the match. Liam Patrick snuffed out any comeback hopes and the Gold Coast claimed an upset victory in Q-Clash 1. Q-Clash 2, round 21, 2011. The Lions were eager for revenge after a shock loss in their first matchup. Brisbane came out firing with a five goal to one opening quarter. The Lions kept their foot on the pedal on their way to claiming their first Q-Clash trophy. Simon Black was superb for the home side with 31 disposals in a best on ground performance. Q-Clash 3, round four, 2012. Installment three of the Q-Clash saw both sides fight out a tightly contested first half before a Jonathan Brown inspired second half 500 of the best for Jonathan Brown saw the Lions storm home by 65 points Match 4 saw the first Q-Clash played at the new Metricon Stadium The Lions kicked the first three goals of the match and led into the halftime break The Suns rallied in the second half Shot from 50 with no one near him How's that for a start? Gold Coast squandered opportunities to extend their lead with Brisbane snatching victory with two late goals. It's over! That's the killer blow! Q-Clash 5 produced an epic encounter, with the margin between the two sides decided by just two points. Spearheaded by five goals from co-skipper Jonathan Brown, the Lions looked dominant for the majority of the match. The Suns threatened in the final turn. And Benel just as no, good! No but Brisbane secured their fourth straight Q-Clash victory with the help of some late game magic from Pierce Hanley. And Hanley to seal it! Good running from the Irishman and he kicks the goal! Q-Clash 6, round 15, 2013. Q-Clash 6 saw Brisbane take a 17 point lead into the half on the back of a dominant showing from their big man, Matthew Lewenberger. The Suns answered the challenge in the third quarter, bringing the margin back to within a kick before a Daniel Rich missile swung the momentum back in favour of the home side. Daniel Rich, the Super Bolt! The Lions kicking away in the final quarter to finish comfortable 33-point victors. Q-Clash 7, round 3, 2014. After five consecutive Q-Clash losses, the Suns were out to prove a point against the Lions. Gold Coast had the early match dominance before Brisbane closed the margin to within eight points in the third quarter. The Sun shifted up a gear to kick the next eight goals on their way to claiming just their second Q-Clash derby. He's got a few tricks as well oh. and he's happy to share it with the world. <laughs> Skipper Gary Ablett was simply unstoppable, finishing with 38 disposals, 10 tackles and three goals. Q-Clash 8, round 18, 2014. Eager to make amends after a 53-point thrashing in round three earlier that season, the Lions stormed out of the gates to take a 41-point lead at the end of the first quarter. Brisbane continued the demolition job on their way to a 54-point victory. Pierce Hanley was sensational for the Brisbane side, with a career-best 45 disposals on his way to the Marcus Ashcroft medal. Match 9 saw a vital clash for both sides after winless starts to the season. It was a physical opening, which saw Ryan skipper Tom Rockcliffe an early casualty. Both sides traded goals in the first quarter before the Suns reeled off 11 of the next 13 goals to romp home by 64 points. Charlie Dixon matched his career best with a six-goal haul as the Suns claimed their third Q-Clash victory.